Welcome to High Road, I'm Andrew Kennedy and in today's video I'm going to be asking the question Can adults learn guitar as easily as children? We've all heard the old adage that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. If we're being literal here, you actually can teach an old dog new tricks. People do that all the time. So the question I'm exploring is can adult beginners learn guitar as easily as children? The short answer is yes they can, but they often don't, and I want to talk about why. Before we get started, I'm basing this discussion on my experience as a teacher, having taught hundreds of adults and hundreds of children. And for the purposes of this discussion, I'm subjectively referring to adults as anyone over the age of, say, 21, and children as anyone under the age of, say, 10. Let's leave the in-betweeners for another discussion, and I'm also going to skip child prodigies altogether, because they're not really relevant to this discussion. First of all, let's bust the myth that guitar is easy for children to learn. It's actually not. Guitar is one of the harder instruments that a child could learn and requires a minimum amount of coordination and physical strength. Think about it. Just to be able to play a single clear note on guitar, you have to press a tiny target area with the right amount of pressure with the right part of your fingertip at the right angle on the right string while plucking the same string with your other hand. That's a lot to expect of a five-year-old whose motor skills have barely developed. In my experience as a teacher, most students don't start to develop fine motor skills until around the age of nine or so. But some don't develop it until as late as the age of 15 or 16, if at all. So with the physicality of the guitar being such an obstacle, why is it that so many children can and do succeed at guitar? Well, children are at a developmental stage in their lives when their brains are primed for learning. In fact, their whole lives revolve around learning. So when they pick up a guitar, they approach it the same way as all the other learning they're involved in. What's more is that children are used to being beginners at everything. Whether it's learning to read, learning how to draw, or learning how to catch a ball, kids get the fact that they're kids and they just adjust their expectations accordingly. They're not hard on themselves when they fail, they just keep on trying. Children's lack of self-awareness can also be an advantage in that they exude confidence even when they're not very good at something, because they just can't tell yet. It's actually a fantastic thing to watch. I've had plenty of young students hop up on stage at a recital and they'll stumble through a few bars of music and then they'll receive thunderous applause from the audience. They're happy, the parents are happy, I'm happy, we're all smiling and the whole thing's a really positive experience. There's a few other things that children have going for them as well. They've got support from their parents who are constantly encouraging them to practice, paying for their lessons and boosting their self-esteem all the time. And they probably have friends who are also learning musical instruments, which tends to normalize the whole process. And lastly, children are fairly accepting of the student-teacher relationship in that they trust their teacher and tend to follow instruction implicitly. If the teacher tells them to practice something, they just do it without question. In fact, I tend to think that this one thing, let's call it obedience, is probably the main reason why children tend to succeed despite all the things that are stacked against them. Adults, it would seem, have everything going for them. They've got fully developed adult hands, they've got fully developed adult brains, and they've got fully developed adult wallets. So then why is it that so many adult beginners don't succeed where children do? Well, adult beginners have a lot of stuff to overcome as well. They're not in a school six hours a day surrounded by teachers and other learners. They're also at a stage in their life when the focus has shifted from learning to earning or establishing a family, or traveling, or whatever it might be. They're basically trying to fit guitar in around everything else in their life. And unfortunately, adults with responsibilities tend to feel a sense of guilt when they indulge in their own pursuits. And that makes it hard for them to put in the amount of hours that they need to, to improve. But let's say you've got an adult beginner who's able to organize themselves, and prioritize guitar, and commit to the amount of hours of practice they need to, to improve. What then? Well, there's still a lot more to overcome, and most of it is internal. Adults are used to being good at what they do, whether it's their job, their hobby, or even just chopping vegetables without cutting themselves. The expectation that I'm an adult and I should be able to do things at an adult level is at odds with the beginner stage of learning a musical instrument. Therefore, for example, adult beginners can be resistant to typical beginner repertoire like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because they feel that that's kid stuff. They want to skip straight to Sweet Child of Mine in Lesson 1, and that can be kind of self-defeating. Also, because of their life experience, adults can be skeptical of new information when it's presented to them. Um, so it can take a while for a teacher to gain their trust and get them to accept what they're being taught at face value. Adult beginners can also get hung up on wanting to completely understand something before they're willing to try it. 
For instance, I once had an adult student who refused to even strum a chord until I'd answered about a dozen questions about the process first. It can take a while for them to realize that it's the other way around, that the understanding of it comes from the doing of it. In fact, adult beginners can place so much importance on understanding that they'll sometimes mistake understanding how something works for actually being able to do it. It can even cause them to skip important steps altogether because they feel that if they get it, they don't need to be able to do it. And that brings me to the next thing. Adult beginners can sometimes carry around with them a burden of expectation that they should be good at guitar straight away. And if they're not, that can develop into an underlying fear of failure. And if you're afraid of failing, you can't engage with the greatest learning process of all, which is trial and error. For trial and error to work, you have to be willing to try and fail over and over and over and over again. That's just how it works. You could argue that success on a musical instrument is defined by how often you're willing to fail. So when an adult beginner is afraid of failing or afraid of being seen to fail by others, that can cause them to become inhibited when they're practicing at home if they think other people might be listening. It can cause them to become inhibited around their teacher during lessons. I've probably painted a pretty dire picture here and it would seem now that adults have a lot stacked against them and you can see why a lot of them would give up. But hypothetically, let's say you've got an adult beginner who's willing to prioritize guitar, change their life so they can fit in the practice hours, and they're willing to put aside all those hang-ups that come with being an adult. Then you've really got something. That's rocket fuel. Science tells us that the adult brain is not fixed. It has the ability to change and rewire itself, which is called neuroplasticity. This means that adults actually have an incredible capacity to learn. They've got long attention spans, the ability to focus, and the ability to think long term. And because adults have much better developed fine motor control, they can usually learn guitar much quicker than children. Just recently, I had an adult student who made more progress in four lessons than an eight-year-old would normally make in about a year to a year and a half. And that's actually pretty normal for an adult. Here's a few other reasons why adults make good learners. Adults tend to ask meaningful questions, and they're good at understanding abstract concepts like music theory, and that can help them with things like composition, improvisation, and other creative tasks. The same skepticism and overthinking that tends to halt adults in their tracks can actually be harnessed in a positive way, and it can allow adult learners to think more deeply about what they're doing. It can allow them to reflect and approach a problem from a different angle, which children often have a hard time doing. Adults also bring with them a lifetime of musical listening experience, which can help to steer their ears towards the right sounds that they're looking for on the guitar. It can also drive their motivation if there's particular music that they're passionate about. So let's get back to the original question. Can adult beginners learn guitar as easily as children? Absolutely yes. But the reasons why they often don't have less to do with the guitar and much more to do with all the things that go along with being an adult. So in summary, if you're an adult and you want to learn guitar, then just dive right in and go for it. Don't let the lifestyle circumstances or the psychological hang-ups that go with being an adult stand in your way. See you in the next video.